Okay, so this is my review for uh, Smith Wilson 2.0 Compact in 9mm. This gun has close to 6,000 rounds, if not more, than that through it. Uh, when I first bought it, I did my initial shooting of 1,000 rounds through it just to get used to the gun. And then after that, I went ahead and signed up for Range Master Instructor Development course. In preparation for that, I bought another 1,000 rounds, shot that through it. And then at Range Master, you shoot another 1,000 rounds through it. And then I came back to Wichita, to Kansas, and shot. Then is my demo gun for the classes I would teach. And I taught four classes with it. Each class was 500 rounds. And then I also shot an EDC course this weekend, or last weekend, and that was another 1,000 rounds, 750 rounds. So there's been plenty of that rounds through this gun, and there's been plenty of uh, work with it. So I know the main things about it, and I know what I like about it. For if you don't know, the 2.0 has aggressive stippling, an enhanced trigger, a reinforced picotin rail up front, forward slide serrations right there, and that's the main differences for this gun. Uh, the 2.0 Compact is the Glock 19 size, so it has a 4 inch barrel, 15 round magazines. Um, so, what they did with it, they also added ambidextrous, ambidextrous slide locks. So, I'm going to try to show you this the best to my abilities. So, if you look right here at the trigger, you see the trigger bar go back and then it goes forward. And then you have your slide lock right there, slide latch that locks it open. Well, the trigger bar rests against the let the right-handed side slide lock. Because of that, when you build up carbon in the gun, after about a thousand rounds, uh, you'll get carbon built up there, and it'll prevent that from going up. Especially if you so these magazines, I leave them loaded. This, I started having this issue at three thousand rounds. Uh, so these are loaded all the time. So the magazine springs get worn in. Uh, they also added this detent on the slide lock right there. So what would, on the original models, people would enter the magazine like that super hard, and it would push the slide lock down, and the slide would go forward. So it just it basically would just flex the frame enough to where this would go down, and then the slide would go forward, and it felt that you didn't have to overhand rack. So to prevent that from happening, Smith & Wesson added the detent there to prevent it from going up, to prevent it from going down, sorry, but that also causes pressure on it when it goes up. So with weak magazine springs and a, you know, where you don't have where you that detent there, and then you have buildup of carbon on the slide locks itself with the trigger bar pushing against it when you're done shooting, I had failure lock to the rear on all of my stock MP magazines. I had failure lock to the rear. The 17 round magazines, the full size ones, those ones worked because they had less rounds through them and the magazines, they're brand new. That was, those, that was the only unexpected like coincidence or failure that I had was it not to lock to the rear. And that's a minor one. Uh, in those 6,000 rounds, I had never had a light hammer strike, a failure to fire, and a um, it always went to battery, so no failure to uh, engage, uh, failure to go into battery, and I didn't have any stove pipes or anything like that, or failure to extract. So other than that, other than not getting any uh, failure to lock to the rear, the gun shot fine. No problems at all. The trigger worked in really nicely, uh, really, really nicely actually. Uh, a lot of people will buy the Apex triggers and stuff like that and all this stupid crap. Don't buy that, don't buy any of those, just shoot your gun like you should and get used to your trigger. Um, what else? And these were like, these weren't like, I'd go to the range and shoot 20, a box of ammo 50 rounds a day and that's how I get to a thousand rounds. No, these are chunks, like training chunks at a day where you're shooting 500 plus rounds a day and you're actually working the gun. You're shooting different drills or training with it. It's getting dirty. It's getting heated up and all that stuff. So it's not like I go to the range and go pink. Pink, 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 all freaking day. No, these are up, pop, 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 type things, and you're running the gun. So, six thousand real rounds and real training rounds through this gun, and it's it's definitely shown. I really like the gun. I'm still not moving on to a Glock. Uh, for if you don't know, I'm wondering if the camera will even pick this up. 
the 6,000 rounds, you're going to have a little bit of wear on your slide uh, guide, not guide rods, but where your slide rides, right there, there, and on both sides. That's pretty much where you're going to wear it and where the barrel locks into it. Um, and those are the spots where you put oil. You can put a little bit of oil on the slide, like right here where those rails go in. Don't put any oil up here. 6,000 rounds, no real malfunctions. The only malfunctions I had were failure to lock to the rear. And that is mainly, I'll blame that on the magazines. And there's some design issues, like I pointed out, the ambidextrous slide lock and putting that little detent there on the slide lock. Those are issues. And right there is where my camera died. Uh, 6,000 rounds, no real complaints other than the ambidextrous slide lock and how it is engineered and the weakening of the magazine springs. Smith & Wesson took care of me completely on those. On that, is a great shooting gun. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.